finally, we have the, the absolutely fantastic Lawrence Wintermeyer. Uh, Lawrence ran Innovate Finance in its, its truly formative years. Innovate Finance has, has played a, a, a truly critical role in enabling and supporting fintech and everybody's role within the, within the room uh, to, to flourish in the UK. Now, Lawrence took over the, the role as CEO of Innovate Finance when it was only a, a year old uh, and really built an incredibly strong community, uh, an incredibly passionate community of over 250 companies within it, helping the voice of the industry be heard by the government and the, the regulators, uh, fundamentally shaping the industry that we know today. Um, Innovate Finance, and, and more specifically, Lawrence's role in that and, and the smarts and, and determination it, that was shown then uh, were instrumental in creating a, a really safe space, a, a central space for, for the community as a whole to bring together. Whether it was a, a big bank, whether it was a, a fintech player, this was a, a center point for the communications in that space. Uh, and his impact and the legacy of that impact goes on really to today in terms of the, the regulatory change, the approaches that we're seeing, and really everything that comes uh, from that. So give Lawrence Wintermeyer a massive congratulations and a massive round of applause. So, uh, so I'm going to I'm going to talk about this a, a, a little bit more. But we um, Eleven of us had the absolute pleasure of being office uh, buddies with Innovate Finance and, and Lawrence. I, I mean, I, I have often sort of spoke about you and, and you specifically, but Innovate Finance more broadly is as really being the the sort of Rosetta Stone. You know, you 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 can talk banking, you can talk government, you can talk fintech. But really bringing all of those pieces together, that's not a really easy job to do. So, I mean, how did you end up in this role in the first place? And, and, and really, has the, has the impact of it really settled in? Yeah, that, that, that's a great question. Nobody's ever asked me that. And to talk about all of those things, you need to be able to talk shit to begin <laughs> with. So, uh, but, but uh, you don't have to say th thank you. It's such a privilege uh, to be uh, recognized, and particularly amongst all of the great uh, folks, Anna, uh, Sir Mark, uh, re really, uh, Nick Ogden, and I, I think the, the 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 most important thing is everybody has an epiphany moment in their life, and in, in mine, it was uh, you, you know ve very much being the adult in the room, and uh, you know trying to get regulators to understand what was going on uh, here post -bank banking crisis uh, with a competition mandate. Uh, nobody wanted to talk about the banks, and so fintechs uh, were, were what folks wanted to talk about, and that, that was, that was what, what it was about. And you, you're, you're the actual trailblazer here, so, uh, you, know, uh, you know, you really disrupted the space. Well, it, it's, it's fascinating the, the amount of change that you saw over that period of time, but maybe, maybe looking forward, what are, you, what are you really looking forward to see in the, the next generation? Because there's so many different things, isn't there, in the... Uh, central digital currencies, cryptocurrencies, you know, fundamental shifts that we're seeing in the fabric of financial services. What are you excited about? Well, well it, it was actually your co-founder, Simon Taylor, that got me uh, into doing advocacy after uh, Innovate Finance for the crypto and digital assets uh, space. And uh, I think in, in a world right now where we've got uh, inflation, uh, running at now 11% uh, today. It's a good number. Uh, like, yeah, yeah, uh, 11.1, I think, on, on, on the clock. Uh, the CPIs off, uh, off the scale, uh, supply chain food costs are nuts. Uh, the practical reality of, uh, you know, Western democracies and capitalism uh, probably aren't working for most people. And, and so most of us in my community are, are focused on, uh, you, you know, the digitization of, of financial services. And like Nick Ogden, we're all plumbers. We're focused on the infrastructure, but, but we're really hoping that the benefits manifest themselves in, in economic productivity and better distribution of wealth with people. And so it, it's a real geek argument. We, we all really do believe that uh, better technology and, and better utility, doing a job for consumers is what we're all, 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 all here for, or, or wholesale or cap markets if, if you're a trader. There are lots of efficiencies to be gained there, but 
uh, we're, we're, we're trying to get the world of technology to meet the world of, of still analog policy and, and bro broadly, we, 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 you know, a world that looks like a, a, a you, you know, a, 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 a continuum of democratic capitalism and, and totalitarianism, which, you know, gosh, who, who would have thought we would have been here in 2022? <laughs> Fantastic. Well, uh, again, thank you so much for everything that you've done for the industry, and thank you so much for the change that you've brought about. But a uh, big round of applause for Lawrence Wintermeyer. Thank you. Well, well, thank all of it's you. It is you, David. It is all of you. Don't thank me. I'm I'm just the adult in the room, bud. Thank you, much.